Hi, Afnan here. Today I'm going to dismantle this resin penguin pump, which I've just decommissioned from my craft set. This pump is uh, 220 to 240 volts AC, 50 hertz. The power rating is 110 watt. Quite a heavy uh, current usage of pump. And flow is 4,500 liter per hour. I'm using this for my craft system. And what I found out that uh, is too much. Uh, it's a wasting of a lot of uh, energy because I have to bypass the water and uh, I have just replaced this pump with two smaller pumps which is the Alpha 2000 and the other one was the, uh, the ESK 2000. This pump has been running quite well. I have no complaint except for high power consumption. And it's uh, a few years old. The time when I bought it is about 100 US dollar for this pump. And it's been running fine. I just want to do a cleaning on this pump. A simple cleaning. Right, let's uh, open up this pump and see what this it have inside. It have an open and close. It's most probably it's very tight. At, probably I have to use some hammer to do the job. Yeah. Light tap with a mallet will do. It's extremely dirty because well the last time I clean it I can't even recall when the last time I clean it. Let's put this aside. Uh, it's best to be clean with running water, but I have a pail of water just to do some preliminary cleaning of oh, debris it's using a simple impeller system which is also very tight and it's quite difficult to see anymore okay anti-clockwise and we get to get out that's the lower part of the uh, pivot point for the roto impeller just put it inside there yep. and that's the okay so it's a permanent magnet rotor with a ceramic shaft again as a ceramic rotor sorry about it a ceramic spindle it's a permanent magnet rotor with a ceramic spindle and there's hardly any sign of wear on the ceramic spindle it's been running for a very long time and that's why i recommend to get a palm with a ceramic spindle there's no sign of any wear i cannot feel anything it's just like marking the roto there is some sign of scrubbing or chafing it's quite mild but it's still working and it cannot be removed I will brush off later on and apart from this sign of uh, chafing there's no other sign of damage let's put this together so that it won't, it won't go missing I will clean this up in running water and uh, that's the pump body, the housing. It can be further disconnected but, uh, by use, removing these screws and the pump can be detached. However, I normally don't do that because I don't feel it's necessary. What I will do, I will just clean up this pump uh, with running water. Okay, installation is simple just like any other pump it's such a simple pump and there you go right and 
what we'll do, we put back this piece and close it. Rotate it clockwise to close. It's extremely dirty, so I will do a clean up before I dismant I reassemble this. We have to get it aligned properly. Where is it? That's the marking here. And rotate it clockwise. That's it. That's the Resun Penguin 4500 pump. Rated uh, maximum height of 4.2 meter with a flow of 4500 liter per hour at zero height okay thanks very much for watching and bye